Good evening, folks. It's Sunday, March the 24th. And guess what time it is? That's right. It's another Debbie meal prep Sunday. Starting out today, this is not ground beef, this is ground turkey sausage. Because I'm going to make ground turkey frittatas. It's going to have spinach and ground turkey and eggs, of course, and then um, the coconut milk made it very different last week. It was good. It was a better touch to it, and it also helped to brown, brown it a little bit more, and it looked more appetizing. So we're going to go with the coconut milk again. So we're doing that. Then we have in our oven, ooh, the steam. We have some pork chops in there, very lean pork chops, and ground turkey. We are going to make some chicken. I'm probably going to make that salsa chicken again with some uh, mini potatoes. I have some. Uh, I'm making a sauteed kale as well. I'm going to let you um, see that prepared when I bring it out as well. So, starting out, it's our number one meal prep Sunday. Be right back. Back again. Here is my sautéed kale. And a little bit of bacon. And, of course, my ghee butter. And then it's a recipe out of my Whole30 book. And I'm going to put some almonds in this also. Stay tuned to hear how this tastes. I need to get my husband and my son to tell them how my recipe testing goes. <laughs> Give some testimonials. <laughs> but this is a kale. And kale, if you're if anybody's wondering, it's just another form of green like spinach and collards and, and all of those greens. And, and um, it has a, a deeper flavor, I guess, a richer flavor than uh, collards, but yummy. Be back shortly. Well, hello again. Here we are. My hair is not. <laughs> Here we are again. Uh, this is the wrap up for, for uh, what day is it? Sunday. Sunday meal prep. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of work, and I've had several people ask me, how do you do it? How do you do it? And and, and it, it's a lot of work, but to me, it's so worth it because I'd rather have, I stay to have the hours spent on doing this now, and then in the evenings when I get home from work, I don't have the frustration and stress of worrying about what I'm going to prepare for my family. My family has their meals. They have a, a breakfast and and lunch and and dinner prepared for them already and if we want something else there's that option but this is so worth it to me okay i got, showed you earlier some things that i prepared here we have yellow rice um kale with almonds and some peppers i grilled with uh, some pork chops, very lean pork chops. I mean, I'm, for those who don't like pork or don't eat pork, to each its own, but pork is not an unhealthy protein. Pork can be eaten healthy. I have here the kale again with some potatoes and pork chops. There's the um, peppers and 
kale and yellow rice and pork chops. Here we have potatoes and some of the grilled peppers with mixed uh, vegetable medley and the pork chops. I made more than pork chops. Here we have the chicken. I showed you the grilled chicken I made. It's grilled chicken with yellow rice and vegetable medley. Have some shrimp that I made. I didn't show you my preparing that, but of course I made that in my ghee butter and put it in the oven with some seasonings and the vegetable medley. I was running a little short, believe it or not, on protein, so I threw some more of these um, meatballs, turkey meatballs, in there. I had those frozen. And uh, vegetables and potatoes. Um, here's another meal that has the grilled chicken, yellow rice, vegetables, and a sweet potato. Yellow rice, chicken, with the kale, almonds. We have some Brussels sprouts, potatoes, and grilled chicken. Grilled chicken with the uh, uh, Brussels sprout sweet potato and uh, peppers. We have peppers again with kale, chicken, sweet potato, shrimp, kale, a few Brussels sprouts, and sweet potato and the same here so we have a variety of things that we can choose from of course I'm not eating rice right now so I'm doing more potatoes and um, those are better carbs for me I um, invested in buying a whole 30 meal book that I'll show you guys later this is my frittata for the week for breakfasts. I cut this up and wrap them up, have them in the refrigerator for us to eat. This one has eggs, coconut milk, and turkey sausage, spicy turkey sausage in it. And I also put some salsa in there. So that's yummy. That's another um, menu item from my Whole30 book. Here's my regular salad with those nice tomatoes and peppers and and uh, spring mix. We have our fruit and I've added some tart apples to the fruit mix for this week. As you can see those are very tasty. I didn't cut those up. Uh, those are from Publix. <laughs> but I did cut these up and, and clean these up and put them in here. The strawberries and blueberries. So that's our meal plan for this week folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. And, and help us along our uh, healthy journey. Hubby, my son, and I, we're trying, we're trying to live better, healthy lives and eating better. So, love you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, please comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Uh, this is the wrap up for, for uh, what day is it? It's Sunday. Sunday meal prep. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. And I've had several people ask me, how do you do it? How do you do it? And, and, and it, it's a lot of work, but to me it's so worth it because I'd rather have, I stay to have the hour spent on doing this now and then in the evenings when I get home from work, I don't have the frustration and stress of worrying about what I'm going to prepare for my family. My family has their meals. They have a, a breakfast and, and lunch and, and dinner prepared for them already. And if we want something else, there's that option. But this is so worth it to me. Okay, I showed you earlier some things that I prepared here. We have yellow rice, um, kale with almond, and some peppers I grilled with uh, some pork chops, very lean pork chops. 
I mean, I'm, for those who don't like pork or don't eat pork, to each its own, but pork is not an unhealthy protein. Pork can be eaten healthy. I have here the kale again with some potatoes and pork chops. There's the uh, peppers and kale and yellow rice and pork chops. Here we have potatoes and some of the grilled peppers with mixed uh, vegetable medley and the pork chops. I made more than pork chops. Here we have the chicken. I showed you the grilled chicken I made. It's grilled chicken with yellow rice and vegetable medley. Have some shrimp that I made. I didn't show you my preparing that, but of course I made that in my ghee butter and put it in the oven with some seasonings and the vegetable medley. I was running a little short, believe it or not, on protein, so I threw some more of these um, meatballs, turkey meatballs, in there. I had those frozen. And uh, vegetables and potatoes. Um, here's another meal that has the grilled chicken, yellow rice, vegetables, and a sweet potato. Yellow rice, chicken, with the kale almonds. We have some Brussels sprouts, potatoes, and grilled chicken. Grilled chicken with the uh, uh, Brussels sprout sweet potato and uh, peppers. We have peppers again with kale, chicken, sweet potato, shrimp, kale, a few Brussels sprouts, and sweet potato, and the same here. So we have a variety of things that we can choose from. Of course, I'm not eating rice right now, so I'm doing more potatoes, and uh, those are better carbs for me. I um, invested in buying a Whole30 meal book that I'll show you guys later. This is my frittata. For the week for breakfasts. I cut this up and wrap them up, have them in the refrigerator for us to eat. This one has eggs, coconut milk, and turkey sausage, spicy turkey sausage in it. And I also put some salsa in there. So that's yummy. That's another um, menu item from my Whole30 book. Here's my regular salad with those nice tomatoes and peppers and and uh, spring mix. We have our fruit and I've added some tart apples to the fruit mix for this week. As you can see, those are very tasty. I didn't cut those up. I, those are from Publix. <laughs> but I did cut these up and, and clean these up and put them in here. The strawberries and blueberries. So that's our meal plan for this week, folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. And thank, and help us along our uh, healthy journey. Hubby, my son and I, we're trying we're trying to live better healthy lives and eating better. So love you. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, please comment and subscribe. Thank you.